Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. I am incredibly honored to welcome to the show Laura Michelle Powers. And you just represent your name, don't you? Right? <laughs> uh, psychic. <laughs> Celebrity psychic. Yes. Wow. And, That's a fun child. And author, and podcaster, and yeah. boss babe, on business and on entrepreneur. She's powerful. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being here and sharing your time me. with us this morning. Yeah, big Sorry. shout out to El Russ, who is our all of our dear friend. Yes, we yes, love you, El, so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. So tell us, what. tell us a little bit about yourself. So ever since I was little, I've seen and sensed ghosts. So that's actually what got me into being a psychic medium. I actually thought I was crazy growing up because other people didn't see. Did you really? Oh, yeah. Oh, totally. I mean, yeah. it would be like I'd see someone and no one else reacted to that person. And so I thought, well, I guess I'm just crazy. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I think this is actually fairly common for people that have this ability. And so it was um, not until many years later uh, when a family friend described a ghost I had seen but never told anybody about that I thought, okay, I guess it's not just in my head if he can see it too. You know, oh. someone can't see your hallucination. Um, so I still was very scared and tried to block it out because at that point I didn't have any training. And it was a very different time. I think now with media and television, mm -hmm. it's so much easier to um, think about these things, to understand these abilities and to get information. But at the time I really felt like all alone with it. So I blocked it out and I actually got very sick. Um, this is something mm. that's very common for people that have abilities that try to block it out. I've heard it uh, called shaman sickness, but basically you create energy blockages in your body. And I ended up in a very bad place in my life. I was physically sick, I was in a bad marriage, I was unemployed, um, I was on sleeping pills, I was overweight. I mean, just mm. like everything in my life was a mess. And so then I went to a psychic actually to try to figure out you know, how to change my life. And in that process, she helped me open up to my abilities and understand the benefits of doing that and then you know yeah. now I do what I do for so a living. So wow. interesting it's like life and our own bodies are yeah. all designed in a way to cooperate and support our unique purpose like in expressing that unique purpose. Yeah. yeah. It's sure. profound. Yeah so, so when true. you're not following uh, something that you are came here to do it creates an energy blockage in your body and you often will get so sick in some cases it's quite sick. So ah. I call it coming out of the spiritual closet yes. when you really truly are like this is who I am yeah. you know so what was that like when you finally came out of the uh, closet and actually that's what I call it too uh -huh. it very much was that uh, and I was terrifying at first um, like I was very scared of uh, persecution and being rejected and criticized uh, and a lot of people who are psychic have been psychic in other lives like it, it's kind of like a soul gift that goes with you mm. through multiple lifetimes and so I've, I've been burned as a witch in past lives and mm -hmm. things like that um, so it was a very real fear um, but actually now things have changed and I've changed and the world has changed and so actually I was very supported. Thank uh, when, goodness. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. And now it's quite the opposite. People are curious. They ask mm -hmm. me about it. You know, people want a reading. And, and so it's been. So quite we different. want a reading. I was going to say. It's our favorite thing Absolutely. on the show. I it's our to, favorite thing. They I hate it. They're like, oh, no. no, 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 no we don't no, hate no, it. No, no, no. We just love Aaron being no, first. Let, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's clarify. I love it. I do get a little nervous, though. I'm not going to lie. Yes. Yeah. It, it makes me like, Rob's yeah. like, oh, no, what are they going to say? But I do love it. I think it's such an incredible gift you have. But mm -hmm. I want to honor that truly oh, because you. you are such a light and the fact that that wisdom and that knowledge and that truth comes through you, the utmost admiration for right. you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. So whatever works. Whatever so is just waiting. I'm She's like waiting. waiting. Let me just no. do a quick, here. I think what I'm getting to do is just do, at least do like a quick little channeled message for you. But also, if you're hearing this, then it also means that it's for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that. yeah. All right. So let me just check in here. Okay, so um, Archangel Jophiel is stepping forward. So I do a lot of angel channeling, um, and angel is our type of spirit guide. And Archangel Jophiel is an angel that represents the feminine. She's a female angel, mm. the divine feminine. So he, here today on the show, we've had all these amazing women. So it makes sense that she's here. Um, she says she's here working with uh, women um, is in particular to it clear their throat chakra to express um, what they need. She's also showing me balanced giving and receiving, the importance of, uh, especially for women, making sure they're receiving enough, because a lot of women um, that are here are such givers. Mm -hmm. And so they, they're Jazz, an I imbalance. Think you're about yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she gives enough for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the light principles are the win win, right? So the sort of dark is like uh, there's a loser, there's a losing side. Mm -hmm. But with the light, it's like there doesn't have to be a loser. Like someone can benefit and the other person can benefit too. And so I'm just getting the message of the importance of that and making sure that you're not like over giving. 
um, in your life. Um, and do you sing? I don't. Okay, I don't think it'd be very good, but. Well, <laughs> I'm thinking that even if it's just for fun, just for you, that it, that would be a beneficial thing to do. Mm. Even if it's just in your I car. actually, I have like a desire to do spoken word over music okay. as a minister. Maybe that's yeah, it. I just so like, I'm like dying to do that. Mm -hmm. Using your voice mm -hmm. um, comes across as very important. And it's funny, um, a lot of times I'll wear a color that is kind of like what's needed. And I'm being told that this color is a good color oh. for you energetically. Um, it's actually... Um, they don't like the cougar dress? <laughs> <laughs> I, your dress is lovely. I just mean like... I'm every, joking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> every color uh, carries an energy and a vibration. And actually the different chakras are associated with different colors. Mm -hmm. So this color in particular is a go-to for you right now in terms of activating that particular... Well, hand over the dress, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a question you want to ask? No, just whatever's inspired and, okay. and what, no pressure at all. Like, yeah. I just thought it'd be fun to like whatever's there. Just for... please do it right away. No. Yeah, just a message of, you know, sort of spreading your wings, being really visible, being colorful, not making yourself smaller for the world. Um, I think as women, this is very common where, you know, yeah. it's try to like kind of blend in and make ourselves smaller as messages. No, just be big, be bright, be beautiful, mm -hmm. be bold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, so definitely. How can I better hear these angels, these spirit guides, sure. right? Because I. I'm almost a little envious. People tell me I have these guides. I want to tell them. I want to know what they want to tell me because sometimes I think, oh, I'm doing it so right. And then yeah. person after person, after person will be like, red flag, you're not doing this right. You're not <laughs> on the right track. So there's a lot of different ways that our angels and spirit guides communicate with us. Um, one of the main ones that anyone can do, you don't have to have any training, is just to kind of pay attention to messages you receive from the universe. So. Uh, you will hear people talking about something, you'll see a bumper sticker, numbers are another common way, or animals. Um, pay attention to any message that comes forward, and if it comes forward in an unusual way or repeatedly, that's a message. It might be a movie to see or a person's name that's coming up. So, you know, it's paying attention to that, and then also know that it's conversation. So, like, if you feel like you're getting a message and you're not you're sure, you can ask for clarification. So, as an example, I felt like I was getting the message to travel more, and I asked for a very clear sign. I'm driving, this is when I lived in Burbank, and uh, there was a travel agent that I drove by that was called Travel Laura. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's very specific. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> can't say that 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 to travel. Um, and the other thing is that um, we are often communicated through our thoughts. So as strange as that may be, our thoughts are not just our thoughts. Our thoughts are like a combination of mm -hmm. our own thoughts, other people's thoughts, our angels and spirit guides communicate. So how do you differentiate between the angel voice and your own crazy thoughts? And yeah. everyone else's. I yeah. know, that's, that can be one of the biggest challenges. Mm -hmm. So uh, first thing is you can ask your angels and guides to communicate and then you can almost pay attention and hear the different kind of tones. So, you know, there's different tones of voice for different voices for different speakers mm -hmm. and you can start to get a sense. So angels or light guides in my experience will always sound calm and light. So if there's like a panic sound or, you know, a stressed, sound anxiety voice that's probably not mm -hmm. guided oh. i also find it's like that instant voice like yeah. the one that's not like let me analyze this but the one that just it just talks Very right quickly. away yeah yeah like, it's it's usually fast it's calm it's light you know mm -hmm. versus heavy mm -hmm. um so that is one way and then um the other thing is just to kind of sit with yourself and see how things feel like in your body for a lot of people um, empaths are just every, everyone has this to a degree is to pay attention to what your body is telling you in mm -hmm. terms of messages because there's always a message there well and I, so okay i have i have a question uh -huh. sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you're open to it yeah okay absolutely. if the portal is open then I, I will ask a question so i i've had conversations with several different psychics mediums etc and yeah. the, the com constant message i keep getting is you have to you have to work on yourself you have to take better care of yourself to yes. prepare your, your mind your heart your body your life right for love because that's yes. something i've been really looking for I don't know how to take better care of myself. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what? I need some clarity in this. What am I supposed right. to do? Well, 
this does tie into just what the Archangel Jophiel was saying that I just channeled, which is about receiving. So if, if you're wanting love externally, you first have to give it to yourself, right? If you can't receive your love, even from yourself, then you're not gonna be able to receive it from someone else. Um, so that's the first thing. Um, that can be different for different people. That might mean self-care stuff like getting massages or taking a bath. It could be taking better care of your health. It could be doing your passion. Um, it's interesting because I, I get that for you, there's something with your passion that's important, that, that it's important for you to step into and do more in terms of taking care of that kind of like deep, passionate desire for your life. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Any clarity on what that is? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I know you're already here in the spotlight, but it feels like even doing that more. Right. Um, and I also, I also, just like I did with Aaron, I get that using your voice, um, even through music or somehow a solo kind of something, is coming forward more. Is, mm. is there a number I should look for? Is there a sign? <laughs> the number is three come up for you. Oh, in yeah. numerology, I'm a number three. Oh, well, there you there go. You go. Okay. <laughs> and, oh, interesting. Yeah. I'll save that for the break. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. For that. So you have six books out. Actually, I just released my seventh, which is Channeled Messages from Archangels, called oh, wow. Archangels and Ascended Masters. And then I have another book. So I also do uh, Channeled Messages and a book of Celebrity Channeled Messages, which will be coming out sometime within the next year. So where I channel you know, Frank Sinatra, Amy Winehouse, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Wow. Oh my and God. And then your yeah. podcast, you're on yes. multiple podcasts. I do, yeah, I'm kind of a podcast nut. I started my first podcast, which is called Healing Powers Podcast. Um, this is when I went through my own health journey, you know, was sick, I was on sleeping pills, I was overweight, and I found a lot of people that helped me heal and shift, and I wanted to share them, and so I started my podcast, and then I grew to really love podcasting, and I love it as a platform, and so then I started podcasts on other topics. I have one on the entertainment industry, one mm -hmm. on design, one on music. Nice. I love yeah. it. I love it. Well, we know that all of our supernatural abilities are already there. We just have to unlock them by just releasing the limiting beliefs. So I really just honor you mm -hmm. and Thank stepping you. into your grace. And what a great thing in this history and time when we get to come out of our spiritual closet. So yes. thank you for doing mm -hmm. that. Thank you for all the love, sending love to Elle again, and I'm looking forward to many more adventures together. So, and your new book. Yes, and your yes. new book, that's right. So stay tuned, you guys, we'll be right back. <laughs>